So a year or two ago, the streaming website Kick was being talked about everywhere as this awesome alternative to Twitch. But since that initial burst, the general conversation around this website has been not the most favorable as of late, especially when it came out that two of their bigger streamers were inappropriately interacting with a 16-year-old girl on livestream. These clips got tweeted out with the caption, Heal Mike and Zerka are currently under fire for hanging out with a 16-year-old on stream. They found out she potentially had a fake ID, yet didn't seem to care. But you know what you should care about? The new and improved Raycon earbuds. This video is once again sponsored by Raycon Everyday Earbuds, but this time they are upgraded. With brand new features like active noise cancellation and the ability to pair to two devices at once with multi-point connectivity. They also have these new cool cases for them. This is the one I got. These upgraded models also have the ability to charge way faster now. I've been able to get an hour and a half of battery out of like 10 minutes of charging. But my most favorite feature by far is the new active noise cancellation they have in awareness mode. You basically just tap your Raycon while wearing it and you can switch between hearing the outside world or not. These earbuds are so great and with Raycon's 30-day happiness guarantee, this is a great option for if you're in the market for earbuds. So if you're interested, be sure to click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash bowblax to get 15% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video, but for now, let's get straight into the pedophilia clips. <laughs> Welcome to Simp IQ. You so I'm sorry. Tequila? Wait. Yeah, Dave's wait. Dave's doing tequila. Should we drink? I think we need tequila. I think we should. Yo, Sagan, come here. Come on. I say we go and get Yeah, we should go. We should. Not on stream. Oh, we're on stream. Oh, she fixed my dick. I, I said what? when. She said. December 1st, go ask a birthday later and see if it's the same birthday. This is not how you're trolling me. I'm not trolling. Okay, good. I'm not doing this for content. Jones. No, because I'm used to Canada. In Canada, you can go to 1716. I've never done it, but you can do it. Like, no. This is America, buddy. This is not happening. Do you have lighter? Jack, can you see it? <laughs> Wait, these bitches are actually legal? Yeah! Bro, yeah. we've been trying to tell you guys! Yeah. Like, Take do you need to see again? Do you want another what? one? Don't slip up. Don't what slip the up. fuck? Don't slip up. That's the whole idea. <sighs> Come here. New York. Oh, Josiah's fucked up. That bitch was born in night. Nigga, they on my stream. I don't give a fuck. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even who gives a fuck, you faggot retard losers? Kill yourself. You fucking queer losers always bitch. So after these clips surfaced, people started reacting to them on Twitter. Like who knows zombie who says, Bro, I'm tired of people using the excuse that, well, in this place or that place, 16 is legal. Still doesn't make it morally right. Scuba Ryan posts some more clips with the caption, Heal Mike and Zerka have been permanently banned on kick for soliciting a minor that was 16 years old on stream. Mike, I'm just looking out for you. I don't, we don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. I love them. So get the fuck out of here, faggot. I love them. So go leave. Are you fucking queer retard losers? Are you kidding? Pathetic. Cam responds by saying, Yeah, bro, they need to be locked up immediately for this. This deadass disgusting. Ryan responds, Her parents confirmed she was 16 apparently also. This is sick. Yoxic says, Bro was praising he slept with a 16-year-old, showing a Discord message from Heel Mike with him and a girl naked in a bed. And the caption, Zero regrets! Good night! Ryan responds, Zero regrets is insane. Mans is sick. Rack responds by saying, The fact they don't care is a problem. Ryan responds, They are talking about standing on business, like, get a life, man. 
AWL3X responds by saying, Absolutely deserved, 100%. Ryan responds, Next bro needs to get arrested, what the fuck? Trilateral Calm says, People getting too comfortable with these pedo jokes. Time to bring back the guillotine. Loco Johnny 007 shares this clip and says, This isn't their first time. Lock them up. Oh my god, you're still here. Wait, where are you going? Bro, have fucking geography class. So. Okay, don't say that on stream. <laughs> what, what time did you wait? What time did you jog up? Do you have to leave? Yes, I'm what time do you have geography yeah. class? Like seven in the morning. I, I, I've done geography. I got you. I can do it for you. Send me the Quizlet. I got you, baby. Stay the night. <laughs> I got you, baby. Shark 300 quote tweets Scuba Ryan and says, Kick drama is never something normal like cheating in a game. It's always pedophile rapist scammer records himself committing five felonies, 48 hour ban lifted after six seconds. Jay Aubrey quote tweets Ryan and says, Kick is just gonna get shut down by the FBI at this rate, man. What the fuck is happening? Counter Connor says, Zerka is an erratic coke addict who LARPed as a Christian nationalist for six months before embracing total degeneracy. I'm happy he's getting nuked. And hopefully this was his last bridge to relevance. Casey Tron says, These are the same people that say the LGBTQ plus are groomers. Every accusation is a confession. Also not surprising they are both part of the Manosphere movement. Tipster tweets out, Them. Why don't you stream on Kick? Exhibit A. And then he shows Ryan's tweet where Kick banned Zerka and Heel Mike for their behavior with the 16-year-old. Nicholas Diorio quote tweets Tipster and says, Tipster vows to never stream on Kick after the platform banned Zerka slash Heel Mike for soliciting what appeared to be a minor live on stream. Did he not read the tweet beforehand? Why would you post this above that caption? Laughing my ass off. Willie Mac Show responds, What did he mean by this? Dojangle says, So we won't stream on Kick because Kick bans pedos. Got it. A dose of Buckley makes a sarcastic parody quote of Tipster saying, If they can ban a guy for something as innocent as banging a minor, what would they do to a guy like me who feverishly beats it to child drawings? This goof. Nick responds, laughing my ass off. And if you want to know what Buckley is referencing, I have a video all about it that you can check out after this one. But moving on, I comment on this tipster tweet by saying, he doesn't like to stream on kick because they are anti-pedo. X8 responds by saying, laughing my fucking ass off. Kick bans a pedo and instantly tipster makes it clear he doesn't want anything to do with it. Smaggle responds, kick is anti-pedo? Lol, that's just not true. Then I respond by saying, they used to be pro-pedo and tip loves loved Kick then, but now that they've banned people for pedo behavior, he bails. And then I attach a tweet that Tipster made a year ago where he says, I'm about to do a stream exclusively on Kick to meet the affiliate requirements. Please be sure to stop by to help me meet the requirements. Tipster then reacted to this joke by saying, Since people are going out of their way to misrepresent this tweet, allow me to clarify it to the low IQ individuals in the room. No, I was not defending Heel Mike and Zerka. My point was that I don't stream on Kick because so many of the people who stream there are freaks like them. And as if my tweet wasn't crystal clear enough about what I meant. I even elaborate on this further in the reply to my own tweet, as you can see in this screenshot here. Yet somehow everyone conveniently missed that? Anyone who came away from my tweet thinking that I was defending Heel Mike and Zerka, or defending soliciting minors, is either being intentionally bad faith, or has worms for brains. Get a fucking clue, assholes. And then he shows this tweet that he made where he says, Seems like every big controversy on Kick is either someone saying some bigoted shit, or just being a straight up pedo. Twit Zeppo responds by saying, It seems like you knew what you were doing and how it was going to be taken though. And then Tipster responds, Seriously? But focusing back in on this topic, John Zerka responds to all of this by saying, I did nothing wrong. Followed every professional step by ID checking with multiple people and making sure it was real by asking Abby before going on with the IRL stream. A trusted worker of ours, Abby, clearly sniped us for clout on our day off and lied nonstop with a real idea for friend's sister that looks just like her. We ditched all the other girls because they were not verified by this worker, and stuck with the one girl that was clearly a clout chasing plant, and the nuke to the whole broadcast. We did not delete the VOD because we got nothing to hide. We put our whole lives and opinions on 24 hour broadcasts, and say whatever we want openly for years. Now try answering this question without joking. What would you have done differently? Nothing. That's what, and you know it. Whatever responds by saying, Them pedo jokes not gonna age well now. Zerka responds, The price of free speech. Stethos says, Zerka did nothing wrong except for sin. But he did not break any laws. She should be locked up for using a fake ID. That is a felony. 
Krim says, Maybe stop hanging out with girls barely age? What's the obsession with barely legal girls? Is a 23 to 27 year old chick not enough? What's the obsession with the 18 year old girls? It's quite disgusting. Esperanza says, Common sense tends to work. She looked 12. Odessara says, What would I have done differently? Not go for women that look like they are in high school. Pretty easy to do. Willie Mac Show quote tweets Zerka and says, This is ridiculous. If you watch the stream, Zerka asks if she's 18. She repeatedly says she has no ID. He continues to kiss her. Then when Josea says, You guys should kick her out. Heel Mike chimes in, You are a gay ass dude. We ain't ID checking. This is all on stream. Then this photo comes out. Not sure how authentic the photo is. Update. Photo is 100% authentic. The self-incrimination is reaching Andrew Tate levels. Nicholas Diorio responds, You are a WHAT?! Repsion says, They are so nasty. Heel Mike then makes his response to all of this on Twitter when he says, Last night, we got set up by a trusted worker of mine. This is me kicking out the girls. Secret recording. She wanted fame so bad that she tried taking us down for it. They are both snakes. Nasty and evil women. Told you we are innocent, you stupid fucks. He then shows a picture of the girl's driver's license, saying that she was born on August 11th, 2005, and this voice recording. I didn't even know what I thought I would have Swear had... on the Bible and God the and Christ. Bible. Swear, on, Swear Bible. on your notes. Swear on your, Swear on your mother, on your mother, dad, your whole family. Dad, your whole, whole family. Look at me. Your whole family dies if you don't say, if you lie. Are you, you're above 18. I'm above 18 on my whole family. Swear to God. I swear to God. Abby, you have been I friends with her? God, you I been friends? Be you. I swear to God, on my family, on my dog, on my job, I would not bring you an underage so I trust you because, you know, you're respected in the industry. You work for Fresh and Fit. You, bring, you know, you bring bad bitches. You do other things. You, you're a respected person. I don't think you would ever bring us a 16-year-old girl to set us up. No, like, I swear, I, I wouldn't. And you swear to God, she's above 18. I swear to God, 18. I swear on my job, I swear on my family i swear on everything i wouldn't bring this to you okay bryce responds with the discord message of heel mike saying zero regrets good night with the picture of him naked in the bed with her heel mike responds by saying girl in this photo is her more fake news showing an instagram account from someone called ryan costello non compos mentis responds to heel mike with this clip and says nope this is a literal clip where her friends and her say she's underage and how do you respond Perfect. Stop the cap, you chomo loser. Wait, oh my God. Here, put your number here because I'm a little lit. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. What the oh. fuck? Perfect, perfect. Hey! Yeah, they're both on. I said, go do it on camera. Yeah, we're both on. Here. Yeah, we're both on. We're both 12. No, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. We're not 12. Don't get excited, oh. Josiah. You girls are next. Don't worry, you girls are next. Oh, wow. My name is Zerka. Yuli. Continuing on with the responses to Heel Mike, Tyler Horse Emoji says, Nah, you're a pedophile. Lock this dude up. T says, If you need that much convincing from your worker that she's not lying about her age, then maybe you shouldn't be in contact with that girl. Phil Dunphy says, In y'all's 30s, going for the youngest age legally possible is still weird. Willie Macho quote tweets Heel Mike and says, Mike is straight up lying. They asked for her ID. She said she didn't have it. Zerka continued to kiss her. Then when Josiah said, she shouldn't be here. She has no ID. Mike responded, You're a gay ass dude, bro. We ain't ID checking. This is all on live stream. He then posted this, which is still up in his Discord. He then shows the picture of Heel Mike in the bed with the 16 year old and exactly where in Discord he got it from. Willie continues tweeting when he says, Maybe she's 18. Maybe she's not. But Mike was not set up. And he obviously did not care at all during the stream. Kick was right to ban them. IGP says, Bro, I need like 10 psychologists to explain to me the appeal of this dude and his friends. Are all of their followers following for memes or do they actually try and live vicariously through them and their disgusting behavior? I don't get it, laughing my ass off. Vince Hella says, The IDs are different! Showing the ID that was on his live stream versus the ID that Mike showed in his tweet and they are indeed different IDs. Going back to John Zerka's response to all of this, he makes a new tweet saying, Young and stupid women hunting down celebrities to bite a slice of fame is a tale as old as time. Old and ugly women being mad about it has nothing to do with morality. Their outrage comes from not being selected, and deep down, everybody knows that. Willie Macho quote tweets Zirka and says, These women didn't come after you. Your own chat did when you repeatedly asked for her ID. She said she didn't have it. 
and then she proceeded to give four different ages on stream. This rewriting of history is wild. Jstock responds by showing this clip of Zerka and saying, There are so many of these clips lying around at this point. Really? She's like, you're funnier than a pedo joke. And I said, True. I said, there's some, there's some truth to all jokes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Zerka responds to Willie by saying, You are an idiot. I saw it before the Uber came. What more do you want laughing my ass off? You trying too hard to make me a bad guy. Big E responds by saying, You locked your replies. You really won't convince people you're not a bad guy that way. Willie quote tweets Zerka's reply and says, No you did not. She didn't even have her idea on her. I don't know why you were lying. It's all on video laughing my fucking ass off. Video will be uploaded soon. Jake Lucky reports on the story when he tweets out, Kick has permanently banned both streamers Heel Mike and Zerka following a series of controversial events over the past year. The decision I've been told will be irreversible. Lasting responds by saying, Dude did stuff with minors. I don't know why you hiding that info. Controversial. Best friend says, Good. Viewbotting pedos deserve being banned. KRNG Chris says, Kick realized Twitch is beating them again and needs to clean their platform up. Kick fans will be upset because it's not promoting degeneracy. W. Hassan and Abi says, They solicited sex from a minor on camera. If only there was someone that warned everyone that a live streaming platform that advertised its lack of terms of service would be filled to the brim with pedos and Nazis. Georgie Cadman says, embarrassing website. Mudahar says, good decision, fuck these losers. Yoxic shows that picture of Heel Mike with the girl again and a new screenshot of text messages and captions it by saying, Heel Mike needs to be locked up for life. She is 16. He then shows some texts which are allegedly from the girl girl's father, but the messages start out with someone asking if Luli is his daughter. He responds yes, and then they respond is she underage, showing a tweet about the situation, and then he responds what the hell, yes she's 16, to which the other guy responds oh my god. Hot guy Jim responds by saying, imagine sleeping with a 16 year old girl and posting it on Twitter. Yoxic responds, bro flexed it in a discord, he is not mentally okay. Nezfi2 says, at kick, nice platform. Yoxic responds, He's banned after someone called him out on it, and he called the dude the F-slur. Your mom says, Where's Vitaly when you need him? Yoxic responds, Vitaly need to catch this dude. FaZe Lacey says, Fucking disgusting. Yoxic responds, Unfortunately, there are still people defending this man. Manuel says, him and Zerka are pedos, bruh. Yoxic responds, They know what they did, bro. It's disgusting. Deleted tweet now. Showing a deleted tweet from Heel Mike that says, W stream at Zerka. And then he shows a picture of them with Jeffrey Epstein's face photoshopped on. Slushy shares XQC's reaction to all of this by posting it on Twitter with the caption, XQC gives his thoughts on Heel Mike and Zerka being sexual with minors on stream and claiming the girls lied. It's not that hard, bro. If things are weird and you have to check the person, don't bother, especially at your age. Dude, uh, yeah. Can I gamble? I can. Fucking no. You can't do anything if you're not funny. Alright, bro. I, I'm over watching this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. I mean, I mean, they're been good riddance. Whatever, man. Holy shit. I'm, I'm done with this shit. And the UIs is annoying, so use W. Dude, it's not that fucking hard, brother. If you, if you're in that zone where like you think you have to ID. And oh my, and this is this whole vibe. You probably shouldn't even be around these people, brother. Especially when you're way up at that age, brother. If you're, if the, if things seem close, seem like you, you should double check. Just don't bother. And that's about it for the reactions to this topic. If you want to keep up to date with all this Twitter drama, be sure to sub to this channel with notifications on. Check out my second channel, Mayo Monkey, to see my opinion on all of these things. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.